Hello and welcome to the world of Zwift. I'm OJ Borge and I'm back here in the Zwift studio after a few weeks away. Did you miss me? Awkward. Well, while I get settled back in here, let's see what's coming up on the show this week. I take on my longest ever challenge on two wheels, all in aid of the My Name's Doddy charity to support the amazing work that they are doing battling motor neurone disease. We see what 2021 Zwift Academy winner Alex Bonya has got up to on his first day as a pro with Alpes and Phoenix. We meet a new friend, and we're always happy to meet new friends, Lucy Mannell. She joins us to unbox all the best new in-game and IRL kit. And we go on a tour for Topia in A to Zwift. And if that has piqued your interest and you'd like to stay across all the awesome content we have here at Zwift, then please click like and maybe smash that subscribe button. Thank you. Now on with the show. Now, March is Women's History Month, so keep your eye out for loads of great activities with inspiring female Zwifters. In celebration, women can join our special women's ride and run series of in-game events, including group social rides, there's weekly workouts and podcast rides, all inspired by or led by some of sport's biggest women heroes. The Zwift Run Festival is back with quarterly race events ranging from one mile to full marathons across various worlds in Zwift. Now, the first event starts this month on March the 21st. This year's event features a digital downloadable poster available to each runner after completing any of the festival's events. Print and hang in your pain cave of choice. Now, if you're suffering from ZRL withdrawal symptoms, which is a real thing, then check out the Canyon Esports mini-series. It's the world's first professional cycling esports teams who've released a new mini-series called Higher Power, looking back on three years since the launch of the team and how it's going in the wild world of esports. You can check out episode one in the link below on YouTube. And finally, in the most recent Zwift game update, German, French and Spanish speaking Zwifters can now follow workout guidance in their local languages. So far and off, Montessor or Sieg Adelante. Since 2017, the My Name's Doddy charity has been working to fight motor neurone disease after Scottish rugby legend Doddy Weir was sadly diagnosed with the currently incurable condition. In the last two years, his former Scotland teammate, close friend and avid Zwifter Rob Wainwright has been working with Zwift to fundraise for the cause in the form of Doddy aid group rides led by cycling legends like Sir Chris Hoy. Now, after taking part in one of these rides, Rob invited me, no, challenged me, to join him and a team that were riding over 500 miles from Edinburgh all the way to Cardiff, which is such a distance, to help deliver the match ball ahead of the Wales versus Scotland Six Nations match in February. Never want to turn down a challenge. I said yes before realising I'd better call Coach Shane Gaffney to tell him what I've just let myself in for. And here he is, Shane Gaffney. Shane, with three weeks until I arrive 500 miles, is there anything I can do to train for this? My recommendation would be making the training really specific to the demands of the event you're going into. So in your training currently, you've done about 50K has been your longest ride. And you're going into an 802 k ride coming up, which is a pretty big increase in training volume. <laughs> so. To replicate that, I would do something like the Four Horsemen route on Zwift, which is going to be challenging for you, long and pretty arduous, and that's going to get you into that right mindset to push yourself when you really don't want to and learn how to, you know, suffer, quote unquote. Thank you, Shane, because here I am, stacked on the turbo, the Four Horsemen route, uh, for the next four hours at 233 watts. So that is Shane trying to prepare me physically. How do we do it mentally? Well. We talked to one of the greatest endurance riders of our time, if not ever, somebody who owns the round the world record on the bike. That is Mark Oman. So Mark, in all honesty, I'm fairly nervous about this. What advice can you give to me just to get myself to the start line and get through this? There's nothing you can really do in the final weeks that's gonna make a massive difference to your physical preparation. So all I want you to think about is just turning up, having that quiet confidence. You're not thinking about Cardiff, you're not thinking about 500 miles, you're just, looking out for those around you. Every time you start to feel sorry for yourself, realize that those around you are suffering as well. In the very simplest sense, ride the road in front of you and uh, you're doing it for an amazing cause as well. So, you know, yeah, we'll be suffering, but we can get off the bike and it all ends. If you're suffering from motor neuron disease, you can't just get off the bike and switch it off. So the sort of suffering we're gonna be putting ourselves through is, is something that we can manage, you know, we can, you know, we can genuinely think our way through and um, 
you know, we're doing it for this amazing cause. You put it into such a context as well, the fact that we're doing it for Doddy's MND charity. I think that puts it into context. Yes, that's why we can do it. So I will see you on the start line, Mark. See you in Edinburgh. Look forward to riding with you, buddy. I'm here at Murrayfield in the background. Bikes in what was a beautiful day. It was sunshine. I mean, yeah, it was a little bit icy and it was cold, but it was beautiful sunshine has now turned into snow and wind and it's cold. In all honesty, well up in my head this is at the moment. <laughs> to the point of I was just thinking of ways I could I could back out of it. Go, go, go! Go, on, guys! Go, go, go! Go, go! Ah! The wind, man! The wind! Well, how was that first bit for you, then, mine? It was alright, wasn't it? Considering what it was like first thing, icy, yeah. then it rained, and then it was windy, then the sun came out. Yeah. So I've had everything, but actually, we'd take what we had, so it was alright, it was windy, but. Yeah, we're here. Beautiful and brutal, just like you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll go with that. Well, if you'll excuse me, just throwing hot coffee down my throat. We're in a place called Mosspool here, which is the top of this big exposed expanse. Beautiful, but the weather coming up there into this headwind was like pedalling through treacle mixed with pain. 110 kilometers in so far, which just leaves the 690 to go. Physically, I don't feel too bad apart from my back hurting, but knowing there's still 690 kilometers to go is, well, let's just not think about it. As Mark Beaumont said to me when I interviewed him, ride the road that's in front of you, which is what I'm gonna do. Here we go, lovely people on the side of the road, hey! Um, if you can tell there's something a little bit different now, it's because we've just crossed over the border. Wow, we're out in England. The last time I felt my hands was about three hours ago. Still can't feel my fingers. But yeah, keep on trucking. So my current position is on the bench with my man Andy. Yes, Andy? Yeah, all right. Because my back is very tight. Ah, and apparently my hip flexors are turning on. I'm not turning off again. Yeah, that's tight, eh? Yeah, very tight. I'm going to be like a new man after this. Take 10 years off your life, mate. Oh, off my life. There you go, bro. We're just heading into Preston now. 303 kilometers on the clock. Oh, shoulders hurt. My earlier joie de vivre has been lost. I've been absolutely just staring at my GPS, hoping that the next stop was coming up for ages and we've been lost a couple of times. We've had somebody fall off. I've had a puncture. Straight on, yeah? Thank you. In. We're 24 hours in, we're 430 yeah. kilometres deep. That's Tell me 260 miles in <laughs> real time. <laughs> that sounds better in kilometres. <laughs> Tell me why we're doing this again. Yeah, we're doing it because we just met a friend of a, a friend of mine who's got MND and uh, you know it's shitty for us at the moment, but it's nothing like what they put up with. And, and if if we're raising money that can, you know, one day, one day. There's going to be a researcher who's going to make the breakthrough, and if if we've made the money to pay for that researcher, then it'll all be worth it. And you've got ready for this. You've done lots of fundraising, lots of events with Sir Chris Hoy on Zwift, yeah, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. We. I mean, we've been doing six weeks of this. So, um, from you know the main Doddy aid, we've we've probably raised about half a million, and we've raised quarter of a million over the last two days, which is. Pretty amazing and hopefully 
We've got a day. Yeah. We've got a day left. A day, a day yeah. left. There we go. Can yeah. I? Can I just point out it's warmer on Zwift? It is. It is warmer. There's no headwind, mind you. You know, we've not really had a problem with the wind, have we? Are you? Ma Do you remember Scotland? Yeah, yeah. That's no, that's good conditions for Scotland. <laughs> that's good conditions. Right. Should we get back on the bike? Um, can we have another cup of coffee? Go on then. There we go. Oh man. The idea of going back riding again. The only thing is though, I'm freezing, which means that cycling is going to warm me up. That last bit was was right into the maw of a headwind. It's just sapped me, man. I kept every now and again thinking, ah, oh, it's only 10K to go. And those 10K seem to have gone on forever. Stars have extinguished overhead. Empires have risen and fallen. The universe has expanded and contracted. And there was still 9K left. I'm hardcore doing this, and I'm not hardcore, so not compared to Russ, because you did what to get to the start line? Road from Peckham. Which is how many miles? 477. So before doing 500 miles, you did 478 just to get there. I mean, you are hardcore when it comes to this sort of thing. Why do it? Why do this? Um, it, it helps to build on the legacy that Dolly creates. He, um, he, you know, he inspires everyone, and if you don't take on board his, how he faces adversity um, and inspire others and hopefully help find a cure for this disease. Yeah. yeah. And you talk about taking on adversity. There's a hundred kilometres left. That's it. Yes. What is the last? What is the last hundred kilometres like? Very hard. <laughs> nice. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Right. Where's my bike? Oh my god. <laughs> Go straight. Here we go, the last bit, the last 25k of this monster is about to be done. So I was thinking, 450 watts for the last hour, what do you reckon? Sit on the front, let's get there. Yeah, I'd love to sit on your wheel. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I meant you do 450, I'll sit in it. But here we go, I am cock a hoop. Some would say that I've maybe lost the plot slightly, but yeah, here we go. I think we're almost there. That looks like a castle. This is Cardiff. It ends at Cardiff Castle. Isn't this amazing? The match ball has been delivered. Here we go, up well, this way. And there you go, 500 miles. Edinburgh to Cardiff. It's, it's complete. Me. Oh, mate! Oh, I loved it. Good riding. Thank you so much. Welcome to the ultra world. So it's done. We're at Cardiff Castle. Beautifully, it's all over. And there's a perverse joy, I think. This is why the ultras do it. Oh, there was bits where I had to get in the van, so I haven't done every single kilometre of it because my body's breaking down. I can't feel my knee. Will I do it again? Ask me in a week. Now that the dust has quite literally settled on that epic journey, I say this truly, I absolutely mean this, that I couldn't have done it without the fantastic group of guys and girls that I had the pleasure of riding alongside. So, if you would like to support the Doddy Aid cause, you can find out how in the links below.
This time last year, Alex Bonnier was doing Zwift workouts at his home on Queensland's Sunshine Coast and dreaming of joining the Pro Peloton. If we fast forward 12 months and the 2021 Zwift Academy winner is settling into life as an Alps in Phoenix rider, having signed a two-year contract to be part of their development team. Pretty exciting stuff. So we thought, why not tag along with Alex to see what the first day as a professional cyclist looks like. If you told me like maybe even at the start of the year that I'd be here in Belgium with a professional contract, you know, racing for Alperson in Europe, I mean, I wouldn't even believe you, you know. Congratulations, man. Thank you. New kit day. So sick. This will come in handy in summer, Girona. She's snug. I went from having a bit of an injury, not even being able to race for a few months and being on Zwift and then getting out and doing some races and then um, giving Zwift Academy a crack. I started it just because, why not? You know, you, there's nothing to lose doing the Academy. You're only going to get fitter and then best case scenario, you get a contract. So it's, a, it's basically a win-win and I honestly wasn't uh, expecting it. A uh, custom shoe guy come and see me and he said my feet are like wide here mm -hmm. and narrow right. here. Getting all the math done. I'm feeling um, pretty stoked and really excited. Like it's obviously a massive opportunity what I've been given, and I'm really lucky. And it's basically unreal. Like I know I sound like a broken record, but yeah, just really excited. Like they've probably had such a hard time fitting close to me. Try this one, Tommy. I think yeah, this is like good. This is better, huh? Yeah, it's so nice. So nice. it stays on place now. Hmm. Pro kit, well, yeah, it's starting to come real now. It's like an alien baby coming out. <laughs> Mate, you cannot go slow on this thing. It's his first day in the team today. Oh, wow. Yeah, so new There you go. He, he won also the coach academy <laughs> and also the riders academy. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, mate. I told him that you will be his first rider to be coached. Oh, sick. He's not running a grand tour with you. He's out there. Eh? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so we're about to go get some Belgian fries. We're doing a taste test, so you know. Um, apparently they're just, you know, it's where it's at. These are like a delicacy in Belgium, Belgian fries, and you know, I've got to do it. Thank you. The verdict, it's really good. It's good stuff. It's a big win for me. There's gonna be a training camp with the whole Alperson team and I'm really keen to do that. Like, that's just gonna be um, sick, you know. I'm gonna have to learn to grow as a person and stuff and get some life skills along with, you know, learning to race too and that's what I'm really looking forward to, yeah. Like seeing where I can live that lifestyle and, and, be, and be that pro. I feel this is the sort of slogan we could put on a t-shirt, but good on you, Bonya. Very exciting, a very exciting future ahead. And we'll be sure to keep tabs on him on the world of Zwift. Now, someone else you'll be seeing more of is new friend of the show, Lucy Mannell. Lucy is here to unbox and reveal all the best new IRL and in-game kit available on Zwift, from wheel sets to water bottles. So, let's see what Lucy has got for us. Hey, I'm Lucy Mannell. I'm a new friend of Zwift's and I'm also new to LA. So every so often, I'm gonna roll in and unbox all that Zwift has to offer, both in-game and IRL. Now we all love being the first to know exactly when that fresh kit drops. I know I certainly do. Before I let you all take a look at the brand new kit, why don't we get to know each other a little bit better? When it comes to cycling, I love to have a yin-yang approach. So indoor, outdoor, road, gravel, coffee, beer. It's all about balance. I love how cycling gives me so many options. Depending on my mood, the weather, or time constraints, there are so many opportunities to get on my bike. Here's a very quick run through of my IRL setup. So we have specialized Ruby carbon frame sets, 
SRAM Force rim brakes with Zip 101 wheels. We've got the GP4000 25mm tyres, SRAM Force full group set. Um, I've got my little bar bag on the front for all the snacks, Wahoo bike computer, and yeah. And this is my Zwift setup. So, I currently use my girlfriend's specialized Rube because it has three axles that fit with this wonderful Wahoo Kicker trainer. Um, I keep all of my snacks in my handlebar bag on the front so that they're super easy to reach. I use my laptop for Zwift and kind of balance it on this chair. It works. So this is my in-game avatar. I chose this kit because I feel like it reflects my personality, kind of bright, bold, fun, and it also reminds me of all the great people I met during Pride Month last year. Now I'm riding the Specialized SL7. I love this bike. I've ridden it in real life. It's beautiful. And I also have the Zip 202 wheels. Now enough about me, it's time to show you what you can unlock on Zwift this month. The tour of Utopia is officially underway and you can bag yourself double XP. You can also get yourself official in real life merch through the Zwift website, including these sweet headbands that I will be using to keep myself fresh during my tour of Utopia rides and there's also this crisp tea which is my new favorite. March is Women's History Month and from the 8th any women on Zwift can join loads of events for the Women's Ride and Run series. Unlocking this thought-provoking Making Waves kit by participating in any event. I really love this kit. Women's History Month is so important to myself and the waves on this kit just really remind me about those women that came before us paving the path for us today. March 26th, you can ride with Tyler, the vegan cyclist, by taking part in the Ilayel Fruit Fondo, otherwise known as a Grand Fondo. There will be training events before the big day, and any rider who completes an event will unlock the Fruit Fondo kit in-game, as well as receive a special promo to purchase a matching in real life kit. Now, there is only one word to describe this kit, and that is loud. Well, I think that's enough secret sharing from me. Until next time, ride on. Ah, good work, Lucy. Now, did somebody say double XP? I believe they did, because Tour of Watopia is here, which only means one thing, level up madness. So let's find out more in A to Zwift. T is for Tour of Watopia. What better way to experience the most iconic routes that Watopia has to offer and level up in record time thanks to double XP awarded for every ride and run? In total, there are five stages with long, standard, and short routes for riders. Runners have the option to go long or keep it short. If you're really hungry for that XP, why not complete them all? Think you've ridden every piece of tarmac, dirt, trail, or mountain pass and have a complete badge collection? Think again, as the Tour of Watopia includes five new ride routes and three for run, including a host of rebel routes designed by fellow Zwifters. Not only is there double XP to be earned, but power-ups will last twice as long to help you level up even faster. As ever, there will be kit unlocks, including shoes, jerseys, and caps. Each stage is available for four days. Plus, there's the all-important makeup week to finish. Check out the event schedule in the Zwift Companion app and get on the fast track to leveling up. That is all for this episode of the World of Zwift with the Tour of Utopia well underway. That means there's no better time to get on Zwift and earn that precious double XP to level up faster personally, try to get to level 35 for that disc wheel. Oh, come on. As ever, please let us know what you're trying to unlock. And if you want to flex that you have got the disc wheel already, let me know in the comments below. As always, ride on. Right